Okay, now that we've looked at testable versus non-testable questions and how to write a hypothesis, let's look at a real world example. All right, Ms. Strom wants to make pasta. She is wondering what will taste better, spaghetti with butter or fettuccine with Alfredo sauce. Now you're going to on the next slide, just answer a quick question. Is this testable or non-testable? I want you to ignore the fact that Ms. Strom would never make her own pasta and I'll make it for her all the time and go ahead and answer that question and come right back here. Okay, now that you've answered that and you've seen that it is non-testable, let's look at another question. Ms. Strom is about to start making her pasta. No, she's not, she never does. She's wondering which will boil faster, fresh water or salt water. Once again, is this testable or non-testable? Great, we were able to spot the difference between the testable question and the non-testable question. We couldn't say that one pasta will be better than the other because it's that's an opinion. So it has to be non-testable. However, we can actually change the amount of salt in the water and then measure how long it takes to boil. So that would be testable. What you're going to do now before your actual exit ticket is practice writing a testable question and a hypothesis. Be sure to include your if, then, and because statements. You're going to do that in an open-ended question on the next slide make sure that you write in complete sentences. A good example of what you should have written on the last slide for your hypothesis could be something like this. If Ms. Strom adds salt to the water, then it will boil faster. There's my if then statement. I talked about what I'm going to change, adding more salt, and then what will happen? It's gonna boil faster, I can measure that. I know this because I've seen my mom add salt to the water before making pasta, so she must be trying to make it boil faster. In this case, I'm not doing research. I'm just using my own previous experience and what I already know and what I've seen my own mom do before actually making pasta. And I think this could be a reasonable way to explain what I think will happen. You're going to go ahead on the next slide and do your exit ticket in your Google form. Make sure when you're done, you scroll to the bottom and hit submit and then mark your classroom as done. And I will see you guys tomorrow when we go a little bit more into the testing side of the scientific method.